will it be? Only Islamic scholarship can speak on this subject. Not Princeton, not Yale, not Harvard, not Oxford, not Cambridge. Only Islamic scholarship. Not that secular scholarship that is parading as Islamic scholarship. No! Only Islamic scholarship can speak these words. Though the new ruling state has to replace the United States. No, it's not going to be China. Forget that. <laughs> We say it will be Israel. And that in the same way that Pax Americana replaced Pax Britannica, so too will Pax Judaica. Pax Judaica, meaning Israel as the ruling state, will replace Pax Americana. This is the ground, the footprints on the ground of the job moving through these three stages. But where is he? Obviously, a day which is like a year is not our world of space and time. A day which is like a month is not our world of space and time. A day which is like a week is not our world of space and time. Huwa alladhi khalaqa lakum ma fil ardi jami'a thumma stawa ila s-sama fasawwa hunna sab'a s-samawat wa huwa bikul shayin alim After Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the material universe. The word Arb means earth, but the word Abd also means the material universe. After Allah created the material universe, then He directed His attention to the sky and He fashioned it. He fashioned it into seven samawat, seven worlds of space and time between this world and that world. There is only one surah of the Quran which is linked to the child, which is it? Huh? Surah al -Kafi. And in the Prophet said, recite the first ten ayat of Surah al -Kafi for protection from the fitting of the jars. You better memorize it when you reach immigration. Eh? In Surah al -Kafi, there is the story of the young man in the cave. That they fled from the world of shirk. Only the young will do that. And they fled to a cave and Allah protected them. And they slept for three hundred years. And then Allah woke them up. <laughs> So this miracle of sleeping for 300 years was not for protection from that world. This miracle of sleeping for 300 years was meant to teach a lesson about time. I'm sorry I didn't have to bring the book with me to the back. It is Surah al kafi and the Modern World. And chapter 2 of that book is the Quran <coughs> and Time. 
So when they woke up, they asked each other, how long have we been here? And one of them said, a day or a part of a day. So Imran was saying, ask what happened, are you blind? Can't you see? If you sleep for 300 years, then when you wake up, your fingernails will be as long as from Ampa point to KL is <laughs> And your beard from Kuala Lumpur to Pinan. 300 years. Do you agree with me? 300 years. So how could he say a day or a part of a day? Answer? They did not age biologically for 300 years. Hmm. They were the same age as when they went to sleep. So they were not in our world of space and time. They were in another world of space and time where women don't need cosmetics. You remain forever young. In other words, they were in another sama. So Allah is teaching us with Surah al kafi about the sama. So they were not in this world. No, they could not be in this world. Why? Because they did not age biologically. They had to be in another world of space and time, another sama. Okay, you agree with me? Wrong. <laughs> they had to be in this world. Wrong. They had to be in this world. Why? Because in the morning the sunlight will come from the right side. And in the evening, the sunlight would come from the left side. Morning and evening belong to this world. Huh? And the bodies were rolling to the right in the morning, to the left in the evening. So this is evidence that they were in this world. We have a problem here. So we don't need Stephen Hawking. <laughs> the Quran is teaching us. The Quran is teaching us that they were in both the worlds. They were in this world and yet in another world at the same time. And so the Jan is in another world and yet constantly in this world, spending most of his time in Saudi Arabia. You didn't know that. Either. And so the movement between different Samawad can be constant, constant movement back and forth. Then there is the story in Surah Al-Baqarah of the traveler who is traveling by the city of Jerusalem which was lying in ruins. He said, I don't think that Allah could ever raise his back again. And Allah caused him to die for how long? How long? One hundred years. And then Allah raised him back. How long have you been here? He said, indeed, 
or part of a day. Allah says, no, you've been here for a hundred years. Now look at your food, Ruti Janai. Look at your food. The food is still fresh after a hundred years. So the food survived in a different world of space and time. Now look at your donkey. Donkey died. The donkey rotted. The donkey became dust. And then Allah caused the donkey to be revived. So the donkey was in this world of space and time. And the food was in another world of space and time in the same place. So if you want to travel from this world of space and time to the Sama'a dunya, you don't need to take a taxi. No, you step, you step in and you step out. What vehicle do you know? Sorry, what vehicle do you need to travel back and forth between the different worlds of space and time? Remind me to tell you what the vehicle is. Number three, Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam is asleep at the Kaaba and Burak takes him and Burak travels at such a speed that every step traverses the horizon Nabi Muhammad is traveling in a different world of space and time with Burak but Look at the divine wisdom. Burak stops and comes down in the night time because a caravan had camped for the night and there was a container with water and there was a lid on the container. You remember? Come on, shake your head, you remember? <laughs> Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam got off Quran, removed the lid, drank the water, put the lid back. A second time Quran came down, a caravan was camped and a camel had broken loose. He called out to the people, wake up, your camel had broken loose. 